Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on area of trapeziums. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a trapezium using the formula. Right, so here's our trapezium. We can see that the bottom of the trapezium is 10 centimetres and the height across, uh, sorry, the length across the top of the trapezium is 6 centimetres and the height of the trapezium is it's 5 centimetres up. So all we need to do is look at the formula for the area of a trapezium. If you're doing your GCSE exam, this will be on the front of the exam paper. So area of a trapezium equals half brackets A plus B times H. So that's what the formula for the area of a trapezium looks like. So obviously we need to know what A, B and H are to work it out. Well the easy one is H. H is how high the trapezium is. And you can see in this question, H is going to be 5 centimetres. A and B are the other two sides. A is the top of the trapezium, which is 6 centimetres. And B is the base of the trapezium, which is 10 centimetres. So now we have these three numbers. All we need to do is put them into the formula for the area of a trapezium. So this will now become half A plus B, so that's now going to be 6 plus 10, close brackets, times H, and we know H is 5, so it's times 5. Now when we're working this out, I like to do the brackets first, so this is now going to be half, if we add up the bracket, 6 plus 10, we get 16 times 5. And I'm going to work that out. If we've got a calculator, we can just type it in. But if we want to work it out, it's half of 16, which is 8, times 5. And 8 times 5 is 40. And centimetres squared is the units. So the area of this trapezium is 40 centimetres squared if we're going to use the formula to do it. Right, so we've gone through one example. And you can see that this formula here is what we need to use. And our job is just to work out what A, B, and H are and put that into the formula. I just want to do one more example. I've noticed in exam questions, they tend to use a trapezium that looks like this. So the trapezium that looks like this is slightly different because this is a right angle. And the trapezium, basically this side here, four centimeters, is straight up. It's still a trapezium, though. Um, so we can still use the formula. Area of a trapezium equals half brackets A plus B times H. And remember, that formula, if you're doing your GCSE maths exam, will be on the front of the test paper. So let's look at what A, B, and H are. So as I said a minute ago, H is the one I always do first, the height of the trapezium. And the height of this trapezium, we can see it goes four centimeters up. We can use that because it's a straight line up. So the height of the trapezium is four. A, well, A is the top of the trapezium which in this case is six centimetres. And B is the bottom of the trapezium, the base, which in this case is nine centimetres. So I've now got my H, A and B, and I just need to put them into the formula for the area of a trapezium. So this will be half A, which is in this case six, plus B, which is nine, times H, which is four. So I've put the numbers into my formula. And remember, I'll work out the brackets first. So this is half, 6 plus 9 is 15, times 4. And again, if you've got a calculator, you can use a calculator to help you work this out. But half of 15 is 7.5 times 4. 7.5 times 4 is 30. So the answer to this question is 30 centimetres squared. So that is how you find the area of this trapezium using the formula. So again, I'm putting this box around the formula. That's the one we need to use for these questions. So that's how you find the area of a trapezium using a formula. Here's a couple of questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.